Hey everyone, this is Andy from Giz China, and today we're going to look at the MLAYS M4 Note. Now, uh, this is the second phone that we've seen from MLAYS after the M52, and it's the phone that's come before the flagship M7. Comes in a turquoise blue box with the red M for the MLAYS logo there. Specifications on the rear mention a quad core 1.5 gigahertz 64 bit processor, Android 5.0 Lollipop, 5.5 inch HD display. FDD, LTE, GSM, and WCDMA support, 8 megapixel front, 30 megapixel rear cameras, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal memory, and a 2400 mAh battery. All that for $159.99. Okay, so let's see what's inside the box. Okay, so first things first, we get the MLAYS M, uh, sorry, M4 note in this plastic bag. We'll pop that to one side for now. Underneath there we have a small instruction manual which is in English. Now MLAYS are one of the new phone makers who specialize in phones for international markets. So these uh, details here are all in English including the specs on the phone and in the box. Also in here we've got a European plug and we have a USB data cable for charging and data transfer and that's it. There are no earphones or anything else in there. The phone does come shipped with a screen protector on the phone, but I've removed that for the photos and this video because it looks a bit better. All right, so this is the MLAYS M4 Note. It's a 5.5 inch phablet looking device. Uh, it looks a lot like the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. It even has that faux leather rear cover on there. I'm not sure if you can see that on the video, but it's like a fake leather texture on this white panel. That's a removable panel and I'll show you that in a second. Now, MLAYS tell us that there are a few features which are the standout features for the M4 Note. One of them is the metal chassis around the phone. And as you can see, it's a white metal chassis. It's finished with a matte white finish with a polished edge to it. You can just see that polished edge, the light shining off it as I turn the, the phone around in the camera. So that's that metal frame. So that's one of the features that MLAYS want to point out and they also want to point out this as a 2.5D display and basically what that is it's a slightly tapered curved glass display we've seen it a lot on Chinese phones this year and unusually it gives a really nice transition from the edge of the phone to the center of the screen but in this case on the M4 Note I'm not sure if this is the, uh, our, our pre-production phone or whether this is actually a feature of the design but the metal frame it sits slightly too high, like a, not even a millimeter, but just a tiny little bit too high. And it sort of spoils that transition from the, uh, the smooth glass edge, the 2.5D glass edge to the center. So although we've got that nice curved glass, you can't really feel it so well with that metal chassis. All right, other features, we've got a physical home button. There are navigation controls on either side of that, and they do light up. Got that 8 megapixel camera up there, 5.5 inch 1280 by 720 display, so that's a HD display. On the back, we've got a single speaker, single LED, and a 13 megapixel camera. MLAYS logo, got a volume rocker on the right hand side here, sorry, power button on the right hand side here, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and micro USB at the top, volume rocker on the left hand side, and I've got a microphone in the base. So that's what the phone looks like on the outside. The back is removable, so I'll just pull that off. On the inside, you can see there's the speaker. We've got dual USB. We've got room for a micro SD card, and this is that 2400 mAh battery. Uh, now, 2400 seems a little bit small, and uh, we'll have to see just how uh, if that you know stands up to uh, an actual uh, day of use. But it does just have a quad core processor and the HD display, so it's not a really power hungry device. All right, let's see what else we've got on here. So let's put the back back on. Okay, it should be turned on. There you go. So as you turn it on, you can see straight away that it's running Android 5.0 Lollipop out of the box. So in other MLAYS phones, we've seen that, for example, on the M52, Lollipop is available, but it's not an OTA, and it doesn't come out of the box. People have to install it via flash manually. But with the case of the M4, Lollipop is available on the phone, out of the box. So you get M4, uh, Lollipop straight away on this phone. And as you can see, we've got all the little Easter eggs in here. Oh, I can never get past that. It's really annoying. Okay, so if we head out of there, back into the settings, you can see we've got standard 
Android 5.0 settings in here. Basically, MLAs haven't really done much to the ROM on here. It's quite a standard stock installation. There, are, you know, there isn't much in here that's changed, if anything. Um, languages, we've got all your standard Google languages in here. So basically, if you want this in your native uh, mother tongue, you're going to find the correct language there. Let's see what else we've got. Being a stock installation of Android, you can see that we've got Google Play installed as standard. So there's no root or flashing or messing around. Just open up the box, log into Google, and you've got all your G apps there. Google Mail, um, got the gallery maps. Um, there's no YouTube or anything in here. You have to install that separately, and we will need to test those to make sure that they are working correctly. While we're here, we'll have a look at that 30 megapixel rear camera. So 30 megapixel camera, let's see. So it, it focuses pretty well, it's not super fast, but it's not slow really either. Um, capture time is pretty good, it's quite impressive how fast it is, but the proof is in the pudding, we'll have to see just how well photos turn out on the Amlay's M4 Note. Um, you know, this is a mid-range phone, it will, a budget mid-range phone, it's a $160 phone, so I don't expect the camera to uh, really stand out as, a, uh, as, a, as an amazing feature. Uh, what else do we have in here? Um, let's go back. As you can see, we've got the, the backlit buttons there. We've got back and menu. You hit the home button to go back out of things, that physical home button. Hold it down, and that will bring up the most or the, the most recently used applications, and you can swipe those away or clear them all in one go. So just standard Android 5.0. So it's basically you know, a native 5.0 on a quad-core 64-bit phone with 2 gigabytes of RAM. Um, there are a few standout details that I have noticed. Uh, for example, the buttons are a bit loose in the frame and that strange transition from the, the curved glass to the metal. Um, I'm going to have to give this a real thorough testing to see just how good it is and I will be comparing it to other $160 phones and there's quite a few of those on the market. So a full review of the Emlays M4 Note will be up soon. But that's it for now. That's our unboxing and brief hands-on. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let us know on GizChina. Thanks for your time. Goodbye.